So the Creality Ender 6, the Core XY 3D printer that I have for several weeks now. And today I'm going to do a review about this Core XY 3D printer here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, please check me on Twitter. Zagri underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So the Core XY 3D printer from Creality. A few weeks ago I did a live stream about this 3D printer. After that I did also a video about the slicer profile setting for the Core XY 3D printer because it wasn't covered in Kira and now it is. And also the inner parts because also some people ask for that as well. What do I think about this 3D printer after several weeks of printing and checking and testing? In general, this is a very nice 3D printer. It comes as a pre-assembled kit. There are some things that you need to assemble by yourself. Also for keeping the box as small as possible. But other than that, this is a really simple and easy to install even though I made a little few mistakes during the live stream. But other than that, it is a decent machine. All 2040 aluminum extrusions used, except for the bed. The bed uses 2020 aluminum extrusions. Talking about the bed, the bed has a building volume of 250 times 250 by 400 meters. So you have got a decent printing volume that you can cover with this Core XY 3D printer from Cryality. The bed springs are the yellow bed springs. They're more stiffer than the ones that you will see on many of the Cryality machines. The very thin stock springs. You got some decent doors made out of acrylic plastic. Also, there is on the side where the filament spool holder is, there's a very decent spool holder as well. And you have a filament run out sensor standard on this machine. You have a more heavier stepper motor for the extruder and the extruder is double geared. You have a normal PTFA tube running from the extruder into the hot end. The hot end itself, it's a standard Creality uh, MK8 hot end. It's mounted on a similar fan shroud you can find on the Creality Ender 3 machines. I think this is also the one that you can find on the, or a similar one that you can find on the CR30 as well, but different kind of fan ducts. The Core XY movement is done with a very study, very rigid Core XY gantry. I would call it like that. On both sides, you have two sets of four V-slot rollers. Everything is well tightened with the eccentric nuts. Uh, Creality did already do that during the assembly process of them. And yeah, the, the whole bed is moved up and down the Z-axis by the Z-axis stepper motor. I need to mention it's just a single Z-axis lead screw, not a dual Z-axis lead screw. But I think for this volume, it is a very rigid design. I don't have any big movements that I had during my operation with this machine. So the print quality, I am very impressed about the print quality of this machine. You can throw almost everything at this machine and it will do its job. Um, I, encount I encountered in the first times I encountered some little trouble. For that reason, I did a video about the slicer profile, but after that, just some little tweaking like you ha will have on other 3D printers as well. Clean the bed, start printing, make sure that everything is level, and then you get some decent print results. 
One of the things that I didn't clean up, sounds a little bit weird, um, something that I didn't put away is Tifa. She is colored uh, with some uh, paint, but something like this, you have a 400 millimeter Z height, uh, Z height. So why not using it to the full extent? And also other things that I really enjoyed about this machine. If you are going to print some brackets, some 3D printer parts, I think with a printing speed of 240 millimeters per second, I think you are very safe to use that kind of printing speed. You can go higher, but you have to fine tune your print profile settings when going higher in printing speeds. Somebody also asked me, do I, do I have to increase the, uh, the nozzle temperature when printing on, on higher speeds? I'm not sure about that because I was printing the whole time at 210 degrees for the filaments that I used. But if you encounter some problems, then increase it with 10 degrees up and higher. But other than that, you have a very nice touchscreen, a 4.3 inch LCD touchscreen. Uh, on the side, you have a normal SD card. So my final thoughts about this 3D printer from Creality. I think for the price, it's a fair, fair price for a machine built this rigid. It's decent, you can lift it up. It's 22 kilograms, you know, and you can expect for that kind of weight that it is well enough built. There are some cheaper Core XY 3D printers, which I didn't test before, but to my opinion, this is a great Core XY 3D printer. So if you want to buy this machine, then I will put some affiliate links in the description of this video so that you can buy it without paying anything extra and that link will support my channel as well. To buy some new upgrades, some new other parts that I can use on this channel as well. So to wrap up this video, if you are looking for a decent Core XY 3D printer from Creality, the Ender 6 is a very decent machine. Less than 500 euro I paid for this machine. I don't know the price in dollars, but I think if you will look for it, I will put the affiliate links in the description of this video so that you can have a very decent 3D printer for not too big of a price. Of course, feel free to look on the internet on the Ender 6 from Creality and you find maybe some better deals as well. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store so that you can support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakuri 3D Prints. Bye bye. I printed because this is take number two. Um, uh, everything I cleaned up, so. Creality nah, no. Ender 6, a Core XY 3D printer. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses, and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. Ah. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses, Michael, and <laughs> Thank you.